Hey Moglets, I'm finally getting around to raising Lost Prayer. We already did most of the farming we're required, but it's Sunday, so if we need more, it's surely open. And then once it's max, we'll give it a whirl on some uh, of our Catalyst users here. Let's just go ahead. We do already have Skyward Atlas max, but I think I would like Lost Prayers more for its uh, crit rate main stat. I just love those because it just makes characters a lot easier to build. Also, apparently, this is translated really strangely. It's passive. It says win in battle good in eight. We will also test this a little bit later to make sure I understand everything correctly now. Let's just start with raising it, going up to level 40 now. It already has a pretty good amount of crit rate, so I can imagine the base attack is not gonna be super high. But let's just keep it going. Actually, the crit rate doesn't go up a ton, so I think it's gonna have a pretty good uh, balance. Probably one of those uh, a little higher than 600 base attack weapons. I can imagine. We do need some mats already, but we're going to go to the crafting station first. Also need some of this Ruin Guard stuff I saw, so we're gonna craft some of that as well. Gonna risk it with Ayaka here and her 10% chance to double. Crafting six times and two doubles. Thank you very much, Ayaka, very poggers. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do the same thing here, even though it's only five. All right, no double, but we kind of got lucky on the first craft. We unfortunately still don't have enough, so we got to do a couple runs at one of my most least liked dungeons. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just a little annoying. We're going to bring Ganyu and Hu Tao. This is one of the domains I really struggled to get a sub one minute on, so that's what we're going to try. Come on, die. Did we get it? 56? All right. Still pretty close, though, and I think that was a pretty good run. We got a purple, but I mean, we'll still need like six golds, I believe, for the last level. So we're going to just use this other condensed resin we got. I think that was a pretty good one. 49? That must be a record for me. Well, let's see. It stats at 80, which is 532. And 30% crit rate. Actually, really, I, I like that ratio. Like, I think the uh, green sword here, Primordial Jade... It has a ton of crit rate, but its base attack suffers a lot. I still like Primordial Jade, because at the end of the day, you know, it does compensate with the massive crit rate, but I just like it when it's a little bit more balanced. Yeah, we're still pretty far away. I think we did get lucky when we were farming it earlier and did get one gold, so I think we have like two now. Oh, three? Need three more, so I can imagine at least three condensed resin we'll need. Just go ahead and spin some of these Primo Gems here. Grab some more of these. By the way, I still am using uh, Shimanawa Hu Tao. I think I do prefer it over Crimson and Millilith. I think that was a pretty bad run. Oh, actually it wasn't. <laughs> no purple, let alone gold. I think that might be a record. 44, let's go. Come on, gold. I deserve a gold for it. Ah, uh, not even a purple. Okay, man. How about now? Oh, there we go. All right, maybe we have enough when we combine all the green and blues. Let's see here. Five blues. Come on, Ayaka, give us a bonus. Yes, eight purples. I think we have enough, even if we don't get a bonus. So you can take a break now, Ayaka. I, well, I mean, I would have liked one. Yes, and we can. Okay, there we go. Kind of barely, but regardless. Oh, whoops, I had Mona. Well, I probably wouldn't have got a, got, gotten a bonus, but I think we can max it now. Oh, we have one too many. It doesn't matter. Let's go. 563, so yeah, it's probably gonna have that 607, 608, and 33 crit rate. Yeah, you know. Nice and balanced. I I really like that. So now we got to decide who we're going to use it with. I actually don't use Catalyst users all that often. I don't think I have a single level 90 Catalyst user now that I think about it. Maybe we should change that. But I mean, Ball and uh, Kujo Sara are coming soon, so I probably don't want to use too many resources now. But yeah, not a single level 90 Catalyst user. The first probably would be Klee, maybe, or Mona. Because I have so many, like, main DPSs already. Odd. DPS Barbara, maybe? Maybe we should try and make a DPS Barbara. Oh, yeah, Ningguang, of course. I think I'm going to save that combo for the God Mode Showcase, though. Uh, because I also want to get her C6. And it's probably going to be a while before she comes back in a banner. So annoying that she's one of the only four stars that I don't have at C6. Yeah, just for fun, I, I want to start with a DPS Barbara. See if we can get, like, an over 10k charge attack with her. That would be sick. Ah, that's probably gonna be pretty hard with a level one basic though. Just for kicks and giggles. Actually, Shimanawa would probably be our best bet. So we're just gonna steal the Hu Tao set. Oh, she has way too much crit rate. Well, that's pretty annoying. I don't have a crit damage Shimanawa piece. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and give Barbara the coveted first DPS spot. And we need a Pyro. Probably we're just gonna take Shanling in there to get vaporize. We're also gonna take Benny anyway for the pyro resonance. I think that's good. Let's go find an enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, first I wanna see what's up with this passive though. 
So I guess we are technically in battle now. We're just gonna run around for a few seconds. Okay, it actually does apply at the stat page, but it didn't apply until I brought Barbara out. So there's an up to 32% elemental damage bonus from this. We're currently at 24%. Now we have the full 32%. Um, Barbara is now dead. Ooh, she just did a 12K with the charge attack. <laughs> well, I wasn't even really trying to do that now, but there we go, I guess. Well, yeah, I don't know what to say. It seems like it works how I thought it did at first. As far as I remember, though, that comment had a ton of likes. So I was like, I, I must be true. I don't know if I can find it again, but I'll try. All right, so I found the comment, and it could be I'm just misremembering. He says, the translation is kind of wonky on Lost Prayer. You get the four stacks as soon as the character with Lost Prayer is on the field. No need to be in battle to get the four stacks. Okay, so you do have to have them out on the field. You don't necessarily need to be in battle. Uh, is what they're saying. Yeah, we can see they're already getting the stacks. I honestly don't think that helps it that much, honestly. Like, the only thing you can really do is stay with the character that has Lost Prayer when you're, like, running from battle to battle or, or whatever. So maybe in, like, Abyss it would help a bit so that they would start with those stacks. I think when I first pulled Lost Prayer, I didn't even really take into consideration the whole in-battle thing. And I was just like, well, you have to stay with them on the field, whether you're in battle or not you know, for 16 entire seconds so you can start using its full potential. And that's something you would just not do except maybe for characters like Klee. I still like the book for its main stats, but its passive is really lacking. If it was a 16% damage every four seconds with two stacks, you know, that would be way better. So essentially, yeah, I would just need to run around with Barbara if I want to keep the full stacks, which means I couldn't go get Benny Boost or apply them with Pyro and then swap out to Barbara because she won't have the bonus anymore. Let's see what we can do here. 10k charged. I mean, that's really all I wanted to do. 11k charged. But yeah, I'm satisfied enough. We're going to give Hu Tao her stuff back. And yeah, I think what confused me with the comment was, he says, you get the four stacks as soon as the character with Lost Prayers is on the field. Not, you start getting the four stacks as soon as the character with Lost Prayers is on the field. So I thought they could continually get the stacks while they're not in the field. And then as soon as you put them on the field, they will, you know, automatically have all four of those stacks. Granted, it's been those 16 seconds. But the only translation issue was that you don't actually have to be in battle. So it's essentially as meh as I thought it was. Like I was comparing it to Miss Splitter. With Miss Splitter, you can actually have up to 40% elemental damage bonus, which is higher, and you can get that within like a second, you know, if you already have your ult ready. But yeah, its passive is definitely one of the more underwhelming ones, especially for a five star. I mean, at least how I play. I guess if you're just going to always go into battle with, you know, starting with Klee or whoever you have Lost Prayers attached to, then it's okay. You'll start with a 32% and, you know, it'll be gone once you swap out to someone else. But for me, I always get my buffs and supports out first, like Binny or Zhongli. While I've geared Klee up a little bit, we can see how she works. Quick look at her stats, first of all. Uh, she is going Crimson and Gladiator. Pretty average stats, nothing special. 2200 attack, 77 crit rate, 125 crit damage, 83 pyro, 121 elemental mastery. So yeah, I mean, we have 115 pyro damage bonus now, but completely devoid of any buffs and if i want to start this battle here then i get no buffs no vaporize well i guess that was a vaporize since he was wet from the water over there but in most cases you just won't won't have anything what are these balls and i guess in this case as well we can have some buffs yeah you know pretty solid uh, 20k charge there with no buffs i mean let's see what we can do with some buffs I don't know where this sound has gone. That's very bizarre. Okay, it's back now. <laughs> yeah. That's obviously a lot more. 40,000. 40, I don't think that was even a vaporize. So it's not worth it just to stick with the character, you know? It was probably a vaporize, to be honest, but... So I can't really think of a situation outside of, like, Mona, where it would be actually worth... You know, just keeping them on the field for that damage boost. And then when you actually get into a battle, you use her ult. You know, might make a difference in like Abyss or something, I guess. You know, I kind of want to try that, actually. Oh, yeah. I would need to actually have Mona <laughs> in first spot. Hold on. Oh, no. I can't even check their stats in Abyss. I can wish for some new characters, though. <laughs> guess we're just going to have to assume it works like that. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to wait for them to all to get at least decently close. To apply them all at the omen. And then we're just gonna 
I don't know. I think that was some damage. I don't think my Mona is that well built, so... I mean, it worked pretty well. We got through the first half in like a minute. I guess we're just gonna have to stand here and hope it works how I think it does. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been about 16 seconds. Oh, that doesn't actually help. Oh, that doesn't really help either, I guess. <laughs> well, I know of an easier way. I'm just gonna brute force test it. I figure it works like that, but just in case, since we can't actually check the stats to confirm. First, I'm just going to run and do it as fast as I can. Of course, there are only water dudes here. What the hell? That was a 41k crit. I don't think that was 16 seconds, so now we're just going to wait here. That's been about it, so let's try again. 43. Okay, but it definitely did more, and I don't think there was anything to influence my damage here. So I guess it works like that. Gonna try again and just go as fast as I can to that one archer, you know. Yeah, 41.5, so, you know. <laughs> I, I guess the movement speed increase is kind of cool as well. I don't notice it a ton, honestly, but yeah, it's there. Sadly, even refining it only increases the elemental damage bonus and not the time it takes to get the stacks. All in all, it's still a good catalyst, Can I, especially considering I don't think we have that many good catalysts. So <laughs> it seems like we only have three total currently in the game and one of those is Memory of Dust, which I actually completely forgot about since I believe it's only been in one banner so far. But yeah, there it is. If you have any other use cases for Lost Prayer, maybe ones that I didn't think about, Feel free to drop those in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.